Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Hello, Miss. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Dinora. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Hi, Mabel. Hi, Emmanuel. Hello, Ezekiel. Hi, Sabrina. Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining the class. We will start in some minutes and thank you very much for joining on time, guys. Hello, hello. Hi, Jose. Welcome. Welcome, Estefania. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Uh, Jessica. Hello, Marcos. I haven't seen Marcos Antonio Melcar Perez, guys. I will text him right now. Let me see, because I haven't seen him. One moment, guys. Hi, Kenny, welcome. Thank you for joining. How are you, Kenny? Hi, Christian, welcome. Welcome, Danny. Hello, Daniel. Welcome to the class. Thank you for joining. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you, Daniel? I'm fine. Good Great. Evening. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking me. Thank you very much. Christian, okay. welcome. How are you, Christian? Hello, how are you? Hi. Are you now from El Salvador? <laughs> yes, I am in El Salvador. Did you miss it or you didn't? <laughs> oh, no, really... right? Okay, Christian, what is up? It's a pleasure to have you back. All right, thank you for joining. And welcome, Luis. Welcome, Luis Alberto. Thank you for joining. Okay, so we are 15. I believe we can start the class right now, guys. Um, yesterday, I saw that you were, uh, you were um, doing the exercises for the first session. Thank you very much. All right, thank you for making your homework assignments. Guys, and um, there was a there were two mistakes actually in two of the exercises. I believe they were in the number. One moment, let me verify it. Was I mean those mistakes work? 
One moment. In the number two and in the number three, right? Since yesterday, we start started to um to study the the comparative adjectives. You know that the comparative adjective should have then, all right? Which is the word that is comparing one adjective to another one. So I know that two sentences, I mean, two exercises yesterday didn't have then, and it was marking, I mean, they were marking as correct sentences. So my apologies for that. Um, we have already checked those exercises. I hope that they have already reviewed them and correct them. Um, but I will ask again, all right? But guys, the correct form is to always put down, all right? Put down, uh, down in order to compare it. Sorry if those two exercises were having, I mean, those mistakes, but at the end, yes, guys, it should be have. They should be having them, okay? So let me just make sure. All right. So um, we will start the class right now. Let me get a moment for me to share the screen and we can start the class. Just allow me one second. Hi, Amilcar, how are you today? Hi, teacher, fine, thank you. Great. Okay, let's see. Let me share the screen. And please, guys, let me know if you can see the screen. Do you see the screen? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, guys, the topic that we have for today is coordinating conjunctions. Um, this is the second class. All right. But since yesterday we were studying comparative adjectives, we will have a review about comparative adjectives right now. And then we will continue with this con um, with the topic, all right? With today's topic, which is coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions. So uh, I will ask you to please do me a favor and go to the to the manual, please go to the manual. We will answer some questions based on the vocabulary. I believe it is in page number nine. Let me open it just to reconfirm. It's in page nine, yes. Do me a favor and open the page number nine, guys. Do you have access to the manual, guys? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, I'm just reviewing that Jaime has problems with the hair with his son. but he will be in some minutes in the class, all right? So, um, okay guys, so yesterday we um, practiced this conversation. The conversation was about discussing two types of restaurants. They were discussing about decorations, they were discussing about uh, deliveries, they were discussing about the menu, the sauce, etc. Right? So, today we will continue with this page. On the page number nine, we have a vocabulary practice. Do me a favor and go to the page number four. Page number four, we will match the restaurant industry words to their meanings. 
okay? And we will know, uh, we will go ahead and know if you already know all of them, all right? If you already know all these meanings. We have especially, we have a specialty, sorry, uh, buffet. We have buffet, we have book a table, we have takeout, and then we have delivery. Okay, so our job is to match the restaurant industry words with their meanings, all right? We, we need to match them. The meaning with the industry words. In order for, for doing so, guys, we will do it in pairs, okay? We will have, let's see, six minutes to do it in pairs. I don't know if you're in the page number nine, guys. Are all of you in the page number nine? Um, Christian, Kenny, um, are you in the page number nine? Hi, Osvin, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. You're welcome. Good evening, Kenny. How are you today? <laughs> welcome back. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> we missed you yesterday, Kenny and Christian. I'm sorry, teacher. And I thank know. you for joining, okay? Thank you. Thank you a lot. But we will start today. We're having a review about the comparative adjectives, which was the topic that we started to yesterday, okay? Teacher. Hello. Oh, yes. And you, Marina. Welcome. We missed you thank yesterday. You. Thank well. you. No, yesterday. I, I announced yesterday. Yes, Teacher, I, I yes. don't I don't have the the manual. You don't have the manual. Okay, no, do not worry. Um let's go ahead and do something. Thank you, Luis. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, thank you, Ezekiel. Okay, guys, let me get a moment. Uh do you have access, Marina, to the WhatsApp group? Uh, yes, I, I, I don't have a group. Do you the have what's up? No, you don't no. have no, no, oh, okay. no. All right, I will share with you right now the, the link on the chat. Okay, okay I will teacher. share the link on the chat and then you access to the WhatsApp group and then I will share the manual over there. Okay, okay, teacher. Thank you for letting us know, Marina. And how are you today? Fine. Fine. Um, but I uh, a little um, gripal. How do you say? Oh, you you got you 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 caught a flu. Yes, a little. Really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I hope that you can get well. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let me get a second and let me share the link for the WhatsApp group. Okay, guys, ahí les mandé el link en el chat. Okay. Eh, en este chat de, de, la, de la conferencia, pueden darle clic al link para acceder a lo que es el, um, el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí les voy a compartir el manual para los que no lo tienen aún, ¿ok? En un ratito, teacher, un ratito. Todavía no voy a mandar el manual que estoy. Sure. Ok. And while you are doing so, guys, I will open the break rooms, ok? And I will verify who are listeners today. One second. Um... Okay, let's see. All right, perfect. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, I believe I got oh, Ezekiel. Yeah, teacher, ya se en el grupo. Perfect, guys. I will send to you the manual on the group, okay? 
Okay. And guys, yesterday I shared with you the link, uh, and this is about the play. Uh, this is about the classes uh, playlist, all right? The intermediate classes. If you want to watch the class again, all right? For any by for any reason you couldn't pay attention, or by any reason you couldn't be on classes, you can watch the class on the YouTube playlist that I shared with you yesterday, okay? Please, if you didn't watch, I mean, if you were not at classes yesterday, go to the YouTube playlist and watch yesterday's class, okay? I shared with you the YouTube playlist yesterday, guys. And if you have any questions about yesterday's class, let me know, okay, guys? So now I am sharing the manual, guys. So you have them. So once I share the manual, open the page number nine, please. Okay. I'm sharing the manual now. Guys, nada más. Thank you, teacher. Eh, you're welcome. Nada más. Recordarles que si en algo, cualquier momento no pueden no pudieron estar en la clase, necesitan refuerzo, ¿verdad? Volverla a ver o, o hay un momento que, que no pudieron estar presente y necesitan ver la clase o unos minutos de la clase. El día de ayer yo les compartí el manual, perdón, les compartí el link de la playlist en YouTube. Ustedes le dan clic y ahí van a poder ver todas las clases que se van a estar grabando, ¿ok? Todos los días. Ahí puede ver la clase de nuevo. Y si tiene preguntas, también eh, me escriben WhatsApp y con muchísimo gusto. No sé quiénes de ustedes pudieron ver el video que les mandé de los Comparative Adjectives, guys. Para más o menos que ustedes tengan un poquito más... Eh, de ideas acerca de este tema. ¿Alguien vio el video? Si no, guys, lo pueden, pueden volverlo a ver el día de ahora, ¿ok? Acuérdense que esto es como un material extra, ¿ok? Que lo estamos ocupando fuera de la clase y yo lo estoy mandando acá personalmente en WhatsApp para que ustedes tengan más material con que apoyarse, ¿ok? Entonces, si tienen preguntas, me dejan saber. ¿Preguntas hasta el momento, guys, antes de iniciar? Por cierto, eh, el día de ayer mmm, vi que, la bueno, algunos de ustedes está, estuvieron haciendo el ejercicio número uno, de la sesión número uno. Las disculpas si tuvieron dos, bueno, hay dos errores ahí en la pregunta número dos y tres, porque no aparece, bueno, el dan, si usted no lo pone, le queda correcta, ¿verdad, Amilcar? Pero en realidad no quiere decir que esté correcta, Kai, sino que al contrario, ¿verdad? El dan siempre tiene que estar, pero ustedes saben que a veces sí tenemos inconvenientes con, el, con lo que es la plataforma y, y no nos corrige de la forma que es. Yo ya lo reporté, espero que lo corrijan pronto, pero en la dos y en la número tres de la um, captura que nos mandó a Milcar, en la dos y tres, si no le ponen el dan, ya se las pone correctas. Más sin embargo, ustedes saben que el dan siempre tiene que ir, que es para ir comparando las cosas, animales, ¿verdad? Personas, etc. Así que nada más denme un segundo, voy a asignarlos en los breaker rooms para que podamos practicar en la página número 9, guys. Los que todavía no han abierto el manual, open the page number 9 so we can work in pairs. We will have six minutes to work in pairs, ¿ok? Six minutes only. So let me see. We are 19. One moment. I'm uh, trying to open in the breaker rooms. Okay, let's see. I'm assigning to you to the breaker rooms right now, guys. Lo estoy asignando a los breaker rooms. Vamos a tener seis minutos para hacer el match de las definiciones con los conceptos que tenemos en la página number nine. Les voy a mandar una foto 
al grupo de WhatsApp de lo que vamos a trabajar en seis minutos in pairs, ¿ok? So, cuando ustedes vean en la pantalla una invitación para unirse a un grupo en específico, que en este caso va a ser a los Breaker Rooms, dele por favor clic en Join o unirse para que pueda trabajar con su compañero. Ya los estoy uniendo, creo que Estefanía y Emanuel ya los uní. Me avisan, Pri, si, si le apareció la invitación, guys. Y, y denle clic en Join, please, para que puedan acceder, guys. Dame un segundo y los termino de unir a todos, ¿ok? Ok, guys, click on join, please. Luis Alberto Galicia creo que todavía está driving, ¿verdad? Cuando ya pueda, nos avisa Luis para no interrumpirlo, please. Ok, uh, I'm joining you to the breaker rooms, ok. The link click and join, guys, please. Click on join. Um, Ezekiel, Jessica, Luis, Luis, okay. Let me make sure. Solo confirmando, Luis, Ernesto Gómez, Luis Alberto, Jessica, Daniel Ezequiel y Sabrina están de listeners ahorita. Ok. Let me, let me hear the right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Luis. Thank you for letting me know, ok. All right. Give me a second and I will move you to one break room, ok. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Just one moment. Okay, great. You can click and join. Thank you, Luis. Hacer una Mm -hmm. uh, por eso pienso que sería la table es res reservar una mesa pero teacher eh, what do you mean book a table in Spanish reservar una mesa reservar una mesa mm -hmm. o hacer una reservación so, to make a reservation yes that's right try. sorry guys there you go. Thank you, Emmanuel. You're welcome. Try to keep it in a, in, in English, please. Okay, guys? <laughs> Try to keep it in English. Thank you. It's Spanish. It's Spanish. <laughs> no, it's Spanish, no. <laughs> English. <laughs> it's Thank okay. So I guess, I guess the... Um, uh, <clears throat> Hello, hello. Hi, guys. How are hello, you? Hello, teacher. Um, sorry, I, wow. I don't. Hi, hello. I, I don't know who, uh, who we do. Oh, don't worry. We're we're uh, working in the exercise number four, 
basically okay. matching the restaurant industry words to their meaning. Like, what is the meaning of especially, buffet, uh, book a table, take out, delivery, to find the meanings and to match them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got to oh. put the, the number on. And the, exactly. And the... Okay. Yes, the number. There you go. If you okay, have any thanks. other question, let me know. And thank you very much, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Okay, especially it's, it's, <clears throat> you can call a restaurant or order food to take in to your home. Take it out is take a cash meal that you can eat away. Away, uh -huh. from the from the restaurant. Uh huh. Buffet. Uh, yeah. mean you can eat away from the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like uh, delivery is you can call a restaurant. You or can. the food and they take in your home. Yeah. Hello, hello, guys. How are you? Fine? Are you good? We're yes. Fine. Perfect. Okay. Uh, in this case, we have three in one group, guys. So let's go ahead and I know you are the best. So let's go ahead and try to do it together. And we have six minutes, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. I will be there, all right? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's easy, right? It's okay. Uh, okay. Very easy, like a chocolate. Very... Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Are you agreed with me with this answer? Especially, Adisha is similarly good as particular restaurant. From a restaurant. Eh, ¿Qué es eso? A package, ¿Cómo se dice? Package. Teacher, what is the correct pronunciation for this word? Package um, or package? Oh my God, which one? Packaged. Packaged. A packaged, a packaged meal. Packaged meal. Packaged. <laughs> A little bit complicated, right? At the end, right? <laughs> packaged, packaged, packaged meal. meal. Packaged, packaged meal. Packaged meal. Packaged meal, then you can eat away from the restaurant. So, sorry, yeah, take out. Mm -hmm. Take out, sorry. También porque tratamos de eh, uh -huh. we only uh, why, why it's, it's difficult <laughs> this <Yeah. is> a, <laughs> listen teacher we did it but it's just one exercise Yes, just one exercise. Um, okay, but but Julius is is working now. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, what was it again? She has, she has a, a, a work call. Ah, oh, uh, okay. He had a call. We, we, we finished. Mm -hmm. Oh, you finished. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Mabel. Any question, let me know. Mm -hmm. Let me review in the other groups if they are already finished, okay? So we can come back to the main room. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 Mabel, I don't... Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry? You no, mean, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Cal, 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 and... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice otra vez? You have a call. <laughs> you, you got a call from work? Yes, teacher. In oh, don't body. worry. It's fine. Don't worry. But we finished. <laughs> okay, but thanks. But I, I have... I, I'm you not have sure doubt. about two. Yes, I tell guess. me. I have a doubt. About book a table. We think that is to make a reservation at a restaurant. 
Book a table. Let me see. You can call a restaurant or the phone. Take it to your home. All right. To make a reservation. Uh huh. A package meal that you can eat away from. Uh huh. Different dishes place. A dish that is in the food in a particular restaurant. That's right. It's number four. Ah, uh, sorry. It's uh okay. number three. Book a table to make a reservation at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's okay. that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. So I will go back. Let me see. Let me just okay. verify on the other groups and then we will go back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, place a public or where people server. Ah, but number, esa de different dishes, dish, place is buffet. Porque es como que se sirven solitos. Sería number two. Eh, eh, de, eh, o sea, en el number four sería el number two. Dinora. Hello. Teacher. I believe she might be having issues, right? Because she. <laughs> <laughs> But don't worry. Thank you, Marina. Thank you very much. Um, I believe we will go back to the main room right now and we will uh, continue making the exercises and together, okay? Thank okay. you. Okay, hello. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Sorry. Thank you very much. Hello, hello guys. Thank you very much for joining back. So how was the exercise? Was it difficult? Was it easy? How was it? Um, it so... was good. Um, very uh, interesting to make um, the join the answers. Yes. Did you know all of them? All the vocabulary? Or yes, we think, we think so. I um, believe that, um, yes, go ahead. Sorry, Jaime. Um, it's not difficult, but I, we will be, um, I think about the, the, the means. <laughs> I had the meanings, right? Yes. Yes, I mean, but I believe that by reading the meanings, then you get them, right? By reading the minutes, then you get them. Ah, oh, okay, yes. this is this one, this is the other one, and, and so on. Thank you very much, guys. So we will try to resolve, uh, solve it together, solve them together right now. Let me get a second and let me share the screen so we can do it. And I will go through the attendance later on. But let me get a second and I will share the manual. Let's see. Okay, here we have it. We will do it together. Let's see, guys. All right. So we have um, a specialty. What is the meaning of this? Do you know it? Let me do it with the draw option. What is the meaning of this, guys? A specialty. A dish that is extremely good. A dish that is extremely, good, extremely in a particular, good in a particular restaurant. restaurant. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Do you agree with that, guys? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Easy, yeah. right? Okay. Let's go with the number two. What is buffet? What is it? Different dishes placed in a public area. Mm hmm. Where, where people, people serve themselves. themselves. Very good. All right. Sorry because of my two. <laughs> what about number three? Book a table. 
to make a reservation, make a reservation at a restaurant. No. To make a reservation at the restaurant. Very good. What about number four? Uh, take out. Okay. Uh, a package is meal that, that you can eat uh, away from the restaurant. Very good. Okay. A packaged meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. And what about number five, which is delivery? You can you call and call the restaurant and, the and they take mm -hmm. it to your home. Very good, guys. Wonderful. Okay, so we have specialty, buffet, book a table, take out, and delivery. All right. Let's repeat after me just some words, um, some pronunciation about some words. Okay. Repeat after me. Um, let me see. Packaged, packaged. 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 Very good. Good job. Away. 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 Very away. good. Away. All right. Um, dishes. 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 Placed. 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 They're very good. Public. 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 Mm -hmm. Public. Serve. 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 Themselves. 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 Extremely. 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 Particular. 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 Very good. Good job. All right, guys. Questions about this vocabulary? Do you have questions about this vocabulary, about pronunciation? No questions? Everything good? No. All right. Perfect. Um, let me get a second. I believe we got more connected today. I I'm just... Very fine. Ah, uh, okay. No, all right. Perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and share the screen again. All right, let me share the screen. We will go back. All right, go back to the pre to the mm -hmm. class. All right, and now, guys, uh, let's go to the next activity. Uh, the next activity yesterday. I don't know if you remember, we started talking about comparative adjectives, all right? And we said that we use the comparative adjectives uh, to show to show or change or make comparisons, okay? <clears throat> Basically, we use the comparative adjectives to make comparison within uh, a person, I mean, between... Um, two persons, two animals, two things, all right? That's basically the comparative adjectives, all right? Remember, an adjective is a word that describes the subject, all right? That's the adjective. And we have some examples about the adjective. We have John, we have call, we have short, and we have small. Yesterday, I told you some two rules, like the basic rules, all right, for having this comparative adjectives spelling uh, right. But I told you I was gonna be giving you more specific rules. And those are the rules that I brought for you today. All right, before going to these rules, guys, I will ask you to please do me a favor and I will go through the attendance list. While I am going through the attendance list, do me a favor and let's just start reading the first rule. This is, let's say, the rule number one regarding comparative adjectives. Let's read it while I am taking the attendance list, okay? Let me get a second. So I will 
go through the attendance list and uh, help me with the attendance list by saying present, guys, and by uh, turning on the camera, okay? Thank you. Let's see. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Ok. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Ok. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Present. Josué Emanuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Teacher. Luis Alberto Gómez um, García, Luis Ernesto Gómez García, sorry, Luis Ernesto Gómez García, I believe he's a listener, yes, he's a listener today, Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis, I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Dinora Llanes de Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Dinora. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Se los he recibido. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Marina Vanessa. Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present. Perfect. Uh, Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Desde ayer no vemos a Marcos. Mil tocayo. Que se nos ha hecho. José René Aguirre Chavarri. Present. Thank you. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. Fíjese a Milcar que como que ha tenido problemas de conexión. Por eso no se ha podido conectar, pero espero verlo pronto por acá. Creo que sí. Ok, perfecto, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, let me continue, Sharon. Well, let me continue with the comparative adjectives spelling rules, ok? Ok, guys. So, let's go ahead and have a brief um, review about some of the rules, well, all the rules regarding comparative adjectives. Those are specific rules, okay? And later on, we will have an exercise about the comparative adjectives. So, um, the rule number one, guys, is the following. We usually add ER to one-syllable adjectives. Remember, the one-syllable adjectives are the ones that we can see right now on the screen. Yawn, cold, short, and small, all right? Those are 
one syllable adjectives. Therefore, whenever we have one syllable syllable adjective, guys, we adjust the ER, okay? We say younger, colder, shorter, smaller. Let's repeat after me, all of you guys. Repeat after me. Younger. 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 Let's try to repeat this like a eon. Younger, okay? Younger. younger, no, it's younger, all right? Younger. Younger. Younger, younger. younger. very good. Younger. younger. Mm -hmm. younger. Let's repeat the next one. Colder. 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 Esta pronunciación de la tega se llama flat T. Why flat T? Porque no se pronuncia, sino que usted lo pronuncia como R en algunas ocasiones. So, por eso usted dice shorter. ¿Ok? Shorter. Repeat after me. Shorter. 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 Very good. Shorter. Smaller. 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 Very good. Smaller. Que se oiga la S al principio, right? Smaller. All right? Smaller. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Se, se fija la diferencia entre decir a smaller, all right? A smaller. Very good, guys. Okay? So... This is the rule number one, okay? One syllable, we add ER. That's like the general rule, general rule, okay? Yes. Let's go to the next one. The next rule is, guys, if an adjective ends in E, if an adjective ends in E, we add the R. That's it. Simple as that, all right? Because we have already the E here. We have large, we have nice, we have cute, we have close, all right? Because we have the E, that's why we just add the R. Solamente le damos la R. Y les iba a mencionar, guys, que les voy a pasar esta presentación para que tengan esa información con ustedes también, okay? Si quieren tomarle captura, foto, you're more than welcome if you want to copy it. You're to, you are more than welcome to. Lo más seguro, ¿verdad? Porque a veces eh, dice, ah, oh, ok, lo va a pasar, pero ya no lo vuelvo a ver la presentación. Por ejemplo, yo así soy. Yo prefiero ir copiándolo. Soy bien visual. Soy un aprendiz súper visual. So voy copiándolo ahí, voy aprendiendo más. Pero ahí depende de qué tipo de, de aprendiz es usted, ¿verdad? Pero igual yo, guys, le voy a pasar la presentación. So. Uh, so let's repeat after me the pronunciation, guys. Let's repeat. Larger. 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 Nicer. 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 Cuter. Cuter. Acá tenemos otra flat Tenemos otra flat T. Cuter. Cuter. Cuter o Cuter, no, right? Cuter. Cuter. Closer. 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 So, guys, what are we doing here? We are comparing. We are saying más largo, okay, más cerca, etc. All right? Lo único que con estas short adjectives no le ponemos el more. Ya con la R o la R, ya estoy diciendo que es... Lo está comparando, ¿ok? Una cosa con otra. So, uh, this is the number two. Whenever the adjective ends with E, we add the R. That's it, right? Okay. All right, let's go with the next one, guys. As I said before, those are specified, more specified adjectives, ¿ok? Estos son los, eh, perdón, rules. <laughs> Son las reglas que son un poco más específicas, no tanto en general como lo vimos el día. Let's go to the next one. The next one said, we double the final letter of one syllable 
adjective ending in consonant, vowel, consonant. Siempre estamos hablando de one syllable adjective, okay? Mm -hmm. Este one syllable adjective sí es very short, guys. Like one syllable only. Okay, so whenever you have consonant, una consonante. Exactly. We have the consonant, then we have the vowel, the consonant. Si se fijan, ¿verdad? Esta regla como que se repite en algunas estructuras, ¿verdad? Esta regla del spelling. Entonces, ya poco a poco nos vamos y a ir acostumbrando a esta regla, que es que al final. Eh, se repite mucho en inglés. So we have the consonant, vowel consonant. We double the last consonant. Ok. Duplicamos la última y agregamos la I y la R. La E y la ER. All right. ER. Sorry. So from B, then we get bigger, sad, sadder, slim, slimmer, thin, thinner. Thinner. Ok. So. Let's repeat after me, guys. Bigger. 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 Sadder. 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 Slimmer. 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 What is the meaning of slim? I don't remember. I want to know what is slim. Very skinny. Very, yes, very good. Like very skinny, right? Like me. <laughs> no, I, I am not a slim. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nada que ver, right? <laughs> okay. Thin. Repeat after me. Thin. 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 Okay. Thin. Thin. Is that thin. like that? Yes. Thin. Do you thin. remember this? This adjective, what is the meaning, guys? Thin? Meaning of thin? Delgado? Or flaco? No. But it's like, uh, like this. Thin. Then we have thin, and then we have the other one that is... Oh my God, I don't know what to put here. Delgado, pero en grosor. Uh -huh, exactly. So this is thin. All right. This is thin compared with this one. Okay. So estrecho, delgado, pero es para cosas. En cambio, para personas es slim. Okay. And thin uh -huh. es para cosas. All right. So repeat after me. Thinner. 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 Like that, thinner. right? Thinner. <laughs> thinner. All right. Thinner. 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 Thinner, no, thinner. 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 All right, very good. Very good. The TH sound, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, is. <laughs> El sonido en inglés es este. Miren, cada vez que vean este sonido, este, este, este es igual a TH, pero no todas las TH porque la otra es diferente. Hay dos tipos de sonido. Una es. Like that, <laughs> okay. And the other one, it is like th, th, like th, like that, 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 like como en la palabra that, that, okay. <laughs> all right, but this is one sound. All right. So, uh, questions about these? Remember, one syllable that ends with consonant, vowel, consonant. We double the consonant, and we add the er. That's it. Okay. No questions so far? Let's go to the next one. The next one is, if an adjective ends in a consonant and Y, we change the Y to the I and we add the ER. ¿Se fijan cómo va repitiéndose las reglas? In some cases, all right? Me suena familiar, pero ajá. Huh, that's one of the rules of the comparative adjectives. Um, so... The whenever the consonant, I'm sorry, whenever the adjective ends in a consonant, why? Okay, finaliza en why, right? We change the why, se la cambiamos, le agregamos la i, all right? Put the e and then le agregamos la er, all right? And it becomes from 30, dirty, dirty, it becomes dirtier, 
All right. Oh, I really like this word. Actually, this subject is, let's repeat after me, dirty, 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 this is dirty, you tell it. Here is dirty, this restaurant is dirty. Oh, your room is very dirty. Clean it, all right? Uh, so, let's pronounce the eight. Uh, the comparative adjective, which is dirtier. Repeat after me. Dirtier. 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 Very good. All right. Um, your room is, is dirtier than mine. All right. Let's say it's just an example. Um, easy. All right. Easier. Repeat after me. Easier. 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 Okay. Easier. Um, English exam is easier than math exam. <laughs> it's just an example, guys. All right. Easier than math exam. Next, noisier. Noisier. Repeat after me. Noisier. 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 And the next one is angrier. That's a little Angrier. bit complicated. Angrier. 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 Oh my Angrier. God. Someone, Sinora, sorry. Miren, no le había visto su mensaje porque estaba super concentrated. But thank you, Dinora, for letting me know, okay? Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, Marcos is struggling with the connection right now in order to, to access to the class. Okay. So, guys, um, so this is the rule. Whenever it ends with Y, we change the Y, we put the, the I, and then we add ER. Okay? Easy, easy, guys. All right, let's go to the next one. And the next one is, we use more. Okay, here we have the longest, um, the longest adjective. We use more to uh, make comparative for most two syllable adjectives, all right? Or more, it can be from two syllables or more. And for all adjectives with the three or more adjectives. So whenever we have from two, three, or four adjectives, we're gonna be using more before the uh, adjective, okay? That is pretty easy. You just say generous, more generous, more beautiful, more punctual, more stubborn, more selfish, more honest, all right? What is the meaning of a Sovereign, guys. Sovereign. Pizarro. Excuse me. Pizarro or pizarro. No, recordemos que es un adjetivo. So describe algo, verdad? ¿Qué, qué, qué es? What is sovereign? Obstinate. Mm -hmm. Yes, obstinate. No, that, that doesn't exist, all right? It's obstinate. <laughs> Obstinado, right? Stubborn, all right? Stubborn. Stubborn. So, don't be a stubborn, okay? So, we can say um, we don't have an, any Andres here, right? Andres is more stubborn than Israel. We don't have any Israel here. <laughs> okay, so we're making the comparison, okay? So guys, more hardworking as well. So tenemos adjetivos que son mm, formados por más de dos sila syllables, all right? More than two syllables, yes? So guys, si ustedes ven ahora las reglas, uh, it seems to be like more, um, like like better, better to identify, okay? It's better for you to identify them, okay? Ahora que ustedes saben las reglas es para ustedes mejor identificarlos, all right? And to form them. So let's go to the next one. I believe I got another one. 
All right, yes. So guys, there are some examples, all right? For example, this one, with some two syllable adjectives, we can either add ER or we can use more. Estos son como algunas excepciones de algunos adjetivos en el cual podemos utilizar ya sea la ER o podemos utilizar el more. Pero son exceptions, no todos los adjetivos, solamente esas excepciones lo podemos utilizar con los dos. Ya sea two syllables, bueno, de hecho son dos sílabos nada más, ¿ok? Así que este, este por ejemplo, take a look, it, take a look at it, quizás lo vamos a ir memorizando un poco estas exactamente, porque puede ser que encontremos unos ejemplos y digan, no, pero es que este es short, debería de ser clever or more clever. Entonces acá tiene exactamente los ejemplos que usted puede tenerlos eh, de las dos maneras, all right? So we can say politer, repeat after me, politer. Politer. Or, or you can politer. say more polite. Politer. More polite. 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 Very good. You can say simpler, simpler. 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 Or you can say more simple. More simple. 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 Very good. We can say cleverer, cleverer. Cleverer. Or you can say more clever. More clever. You can say quieter. Quieter. Or you can say more quiet. 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 White, all right. You can say narrower, narrow, narrower, or you can say more narrow. More narrow. Very good. We can say friendlier, friendlier, or you can say more friendly. Sorry, more friendly, friendly, more friendly. Very good. Uh, okay. So esta, guys, si quieren anótenla, póngale ahí en un cuadrito y dígale exceptions, all right? O le toman foto, o take a look to this, that those are exceptions, okay? O igual yo, como les digo, les voy a compartir el, la presentación. And let me see. All right. We still have time. We have one hour. So, guys, then we have this which are the regular adjectives. There are some one-syllable adjectives that have irregular comparative forms. Para los irregular uh, adjectives, guys, no hay reglas por sí decirlas. Solamente son diferentes a los demás. No es que lleven una manera de cómo eh, estru estructurarlos, cómo formarlos. Solamente son Como los... Exactly. It changed. Like, for example, the ones that we had yesterday, bad, the opposite of bad is worse. Okay? Bad, worse. So, bad, worse. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's not the opposite. It's basically the comparative form. Okay? Comparative. El normal adjective, el, el adjetivo normal es bad, ¿verdad? Y en comparativo pasa a ser worst. Muy diferente. Okay? Worse. Worse. Uh, good pasa a ser better. Okay. Uh, let's see. This computer is better than uh, mine. Okay. Far. Tenemos dos maneras de decir far, como más lejos. Farther or farther. Okay. Farther and farther. Very good. And little, for example, we don't say little. We say less, all right? Less. Okay, so estas son como también excepciones de comparative forms, okay? También pónganle un cuadrito ahí que son los irregular comparative adjectives, all right? Creo que hay un más ejemplos, se los voy a pasar luego. Creo que hay un poquito más, no solamente son esos, pero es nada más como some examples. So that's pretty much it regarding comparative adjectives rules, guys. That's it. Yo le voy a pasar estas, esta eh, diapositiva, all right, para que usted la tenga. 
y um, let's see what I was going to be. Okay, so questions about these guys? Do you believe that we can put them in practice now? Yes. Let's put them in practice. Let's put them in practice. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's practice together. Let me get a second and I will share the screen yeah. really quick. One moment. I will just stop sharing just for a moment. And hi, Marcos. Thank you for joining, Marcos. Solamente ayúdeme a poner todo su nombre, please. ¿Cómo estamos, Marcos? Todo good. Very good, teacher. Thank you for Great. asking. We're happy that you're here, okay? Yesterday, I have a problem with the traffic. Always the the my cell phone uh, broken. Uh, oh. uh, I today I go to the shop, mm -hmm. the webcam. I installing mm -hmm. in my in my computer. Thank you very uh, much for your effort, Marcos. We appreciate it. For me, for me. I was difficult because um, oh sorry um, English no in support call me call me today in the morning uh, what's up Marcos <laughs> oh, what's going I, on with I, you why are you haven't connected to the class <laughs> yes I am um, I explaining Mm -hmm. Explicar. Explained. Uh -huh. I explained, explained my problem with mm -hmm. my uh, cell phone and, mm -hmm. and other and other uh, activities. Mm, I understand. Well, okay. thank you very much for your effort. We appreciate it a lot, Marcos. And thankfully you're here, okay? Okay, Tisha, thank you. You're welcome. Ayúdame nada más con your name, okay? Full name. Porque solamente okay. dice Marcos. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, so uh, let's see. Les mandé un link al grupo, okay? Háganme el favor y vamos a hacer nada más la primera parte. El ejercicio número uno lo vamos a hacer individual. De hecho, voy a tratar de compartirles ahorita. Déjenme ver si les puedo compartir las, las screenshots de las reglas, para que si ustedes tienen dudas, se regresen a la regla. Vamos a hacer el primer ejercicio de ese link. ¿Sí? Se la voy a compartir como una captura ahorita de lo que vamos a hacer. Um, son 20, I know they are 20, pero vamos a ponerlos en práctica. Vamos a tener 10 minutos para hacerlo, ¿ok? Y me van a mandar una captura una captura, guys, de lo que usted, de la nota que usted se sacó, ¿ok? Una vez usted termine, pone eh, los comparative forms de cada uno, le da finish y me manda la, la nota. Eh, creo que le va a aparecer como a la mitad de la nota porque no vamos a hacer la actividad número dos, pero al menos usted va a ver la corrección, ¿ok? Solamente le voy a mandar como una captura de lo que vamos a hacer. Ahorita, mire. No sé si ya vieron el link. Les voy a dar 10 minutos para que lo hagamos. Individually, abran el link, guys. Y tratemos de hacer ese, esa, ese ejercicio. Nada más la actividad número uno. All right? Ahí se lo voy a pasar. Pueden mandar la captura acá al mismo grupo de la nota que se saquen o de las correcciones que tuvieron. Bye. Ahí se los compartí. No sé si pueden ver la, la imagen que les compartí al grupo. Para que practiquemos. All right? The link okay. is not open there. It's not happening? No. Um, that's If you scroll down. Other page. Other page. Es que como que al principio cuesta que cargue y si usted lo baja, ok, scroll down, hasta abajo está, como la paginita. Cuesta okay. que cargue al inicio, a mí me costó, pero ya después carga. Ah, ok, ok, yeah. Yes, right? Yes. It's a little bit difficult to load. 
Pero ya si le dan unos minutos ya va a cargar. Marcos, ayúdeme con su name, please. Marcos, Antonio. Ok, tenemos 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes y le voy a ir compartiendo como las fotos. Yes, para que los tengan. Las imágenes de los comparatives. Para que también lo tengan como fotito, ok. Lo voy a tomar como una captura. One second. It's going to be easier si les mando fotos, ok. Porque, ok, fotos le voy a mandar. Guys, do you have questions? Yes, teacher. About what we're going to be doing, yes? Some words are not complete than typing. Sorry? Some words are not complete when typing. Is that letting you to complete? Al escribirla, no... Se lee toda. Mándeme un ejemplo del error. Let me see. Por ejemplo, en la, en, sí, en la, en la de small, al poner uh -huh. smaller, uh -huh. solo se ve la R. Una letra. Oh, no se ven. De verdad. No, Qué raro. Ya, la, R se ve, la, solo la R se ve, ticha. Y así en algunas otras igual. Really? Oh my God, I'm sorry. Let me see. ¿Será que tiene una falla esto? Eh, vamos a ver. Oh, pero a mí me de... Oh, creo que cuando usted termina de escribir porque la letra es un poco grande, solamente se ve la R. Pero ya sí. al final termine la de hacer, pero ahí está. Lo demás ahí está. Pero ya sé lo que se refiere. Sorry, okay. I, I didn't understand the beginning, but yes, es como que solamente le da espacio y luego solo se ve la R, pero si lo vuel se va para atrás, ahí está lo demás, all right? Ok. Uh -huh. Va, ahí yeah. les mandé las reglas, miren, guys. Ajá, exactly, así, pero ahí están las letras. Como okay. es muy larga, por eso no se puede visualizar. Pero les mandé, miren, las fotos de los Comparative Adjective Rules si los quieren repasar cuando los estén haciendo. Oye. So, okay. eight more minutes, guys. Eight more minutes. Hurry up. Um, Nelson, trate de ver la clase de ayer. No sé si Nelson Marcos. Marcos, no me ha cambiado el nombre. Hello, Marcos. Creo que todavía está ahí luchando con el conexión. Ahorita le ayudo, Marcos. Espere, Marcos Antonio. Ok. Marcos, ayúdeme. Eh, si puede, cuando vea. Perdón, cuando pueda, vea la clase, right? Julio, are we okay? Yes. Julio César, good. Good, okay. Where is the other Julio? Julio Cesar Ramirez, are you okay? Yes, teacher. Great, yeah. perfect. Thank you. Kenny, good. Dinora, ¿cómo yes, vamos, sir. Dinora? Good. Sabrina, what's going on with you, Sabrina? We miss you, Sabrina. Jaime, what's going on with your best friend? <laughs> Jessica, oh, Jessica, she's a listener. Don't, I don't know, teacher. Sabrina is no. Se no, no está poniendo rebelde, right? Sabrinita. No speaking. I had problem with internet. Oh, yes, I know, Dinora. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Quería saber si estaba bien. Dinora. No, I'm here, I'm here. Ah, ok, Sabrina. I'm trying, I'm trying to be focused. Focused. That, that's it. We're really we miss cool. you. We miss you, Sabrina. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, 
si es que no los veo, guys, se me van, por eso es que les estoy preguntando. Cristian, ¿cómo vamos? Cristian, hello, hello. Osvin, ¿todo bien? Ezequiel. Estefanía, ¿cómo vamos, Estefanía? ¿Todo good? Teacher. Yes. And now I send a screenshot in WhatsApp. Yes, or... thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yo sé que les van a poner cinco porque las otras cinco no las estamos haciendo por cuestión de tiempo. Pero si quieren practicar más, hagan las otras cinco, la, la, la actividad número dos después. O la pueden hacer ahorita. No problem, guys. Ahí van viendo cuáles son sus áreas de mejora y todo eso. All right? Very good. Someone sent to me. Luis, thank you, Luis. I can see it here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good, ok. Solo veamos ahí cuáles para ya tenerlas como en pendiente, right? All right. So, very good, guys. Very good. Send me the answers. Uh -huh. Muy bien, Jose. Thank you for practicing. Amazing. For the Muy mistake, bien. forget one. <laughs> Don't worry. The more you practice, the, the best that you become, okay? The best that you become. Very good. Si pueden practicar las dos, it's fine, guys. Okay? Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Así vamos viendo cómo vamos, right? Remember, we are practicing, okay? This is the first time we're practicing. Okay, we have five more minutes to finish, okay? Five more minutes. Okay, Osvin, thank you. Okay, I believe it's more intelligent, more exciting, more beautiful, right? More expensive. Le puede dar en, en, en a check abajo o completar, creo que dice, para ver las respuestas, all right? Ajá, y vamos a ir viendo la respuesta, guys. Ahí abajo está la opción de finish, dice, finish. Y ahí les va, lo va a corregir, ¿ok? Check my answers. Le dan ustedes en check my answers y ya les va a aparecer a ustedes cuáles estuvieron malas, cuáles buenas, ¿ok? Check answers. Pero overall, I can see you're doing awesome, ¿ok? Very good, guys. You're doing great. No worries. No wor oh, no, you're good, Marina. Sí, acuérdense, es el primer práctica. So, ajá, uh -huh, thinner, right? Consonant, double consonant, bad. It's irregular, more expensive, all right? Look at my sticker. I will send to you the teacher's sticker one, okay? Teacher's sticker. Very good, Jaime. Very good. I uh have -huh. more expensive, right? <coughs> Sorry. Oh, en este caso tiene como clean, por ejemplo, consonant and vowel consonant, right? It doesn't meet the rule. Lo que no entiendo es por qué, why do you have wrong the number one? ¿Por qué le dio mal a la primera? Oh, por la mayúscula, ¿no? I don't know. No. ¿Le puso mal a la primera? It shouldn't be like that. Okay, guys, ¿cómo vamos? Two more minutes, okay? Two more minutes, guys. 
Send your answers, okay? Send your answers. Very good, all right. Oh, uh, Jessica, creo que puso usted la, la sup el superlativo de bad. Pero estamos cerca. Very good. All right. Vamos bien, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jasmine. All right. Yes, pero mire, lo bueno es que vamos a aprender de esas ahorita. Por ejemplo, si las compara ahora, ah, va a decir usted, ah, okay. And then you will, will learn, right? Very good, guys. One more minute, okay? One more minute to finish. One more minute. Ya van a ver que después de, de saber estas reglas y de practicar más, guys, it's going to be easy for you to make the comparatives, all right? Teacher, ¿cómo, yes. hago para enviárselo? ¿cómo hago para enviárselo? Ah, ¿una captura? O... Ah, una captura. Ya le dio ah. en finish. Click en finish y check sí. answers. Perfect. Sí. No, 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 claro que cómo nos vamos a hacer. No, we're learning, ¿ok? Estamos aprendiendo. Esa es pena la primera práctica. ¿Cómo cree? Ya van a decir todos, uy, ya estar enojada. <risa> <risa> no, 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 guys. I get it, bitch. I Thank you, get Julio. It. Okay, guys, sorry. Time is over, guys. Wow, look at this. Look at Estefania. Estefania. Very good. Very good, Daniel. All right, guys. Time is over. All right. I oh, wow. I have more. Look. No, you're doing awesome. Thank you. We're learning, okay? Ajá, ahí, ah, ok, pero tuvo la idea, Julio, more beautiful, more exciting, it's fine, aunque lo haya corregido mal, pero, pero tenemos la idea que después del more, lleva el, el adjective, right? Yes. Good, all right, ahí vamos, don't worry, Julio, all right, thank you guys. All right, so guys, let me share the screen and we will go to the next page, ok? on the uh on the manual do me a favor guys and go to the page um sorry what page is it 10 page 10 go to the page 10 guys please page 10 and let's complete this statement using the competitive form of the adjectives in the parentheses okay we will do it together We will do it together. Solamente quiero, guys, que you identify the structure. Quiero que identifiquemos la estructura, ¿ok? Look at this. Miren, cuando nosotros estamos comparando, guys, como decíamos, comparamos dos cosas, pero utilizamos el verb to be, ¿ok? For example, we say delivery is more convenient than take out. ¿Ok? Estamos utilizando verb to be. All right? Verb to be. So, let's make the other ones. Let's make the other ones, guys. Their beverage, beverages, their beverages, sorry, are, we will use the uh, adjective that is here. Vamos a utilizar el adjetivo que tenemos acá en paréntesis, all right? Como ustedes ya saben hacer el adjective, el comparative adjective, that will be easy for you, right? So, 
convenient will be will become in more convenient okay so let's do it together guys let's see number two who can help me to make the number two their beverages are cheaper than cheaper is it like that cheaper yes, than, than the ones the from ones Starbucks. from Starbucks. Right. very good what about number three number three Jose, could you please help me to read it, number three? Daniel, could you please help me with number four? Amilka, you help me with the number five. Um, oh my God. Uh, let me go, go, go up, go up, go up. Um, wow, se me perdieron todos. Okay, aquí lo veo. Jose, help me with the number six, okay? All right, number three, guys. Who was in charge two. of number three? Uh -huh. What number two. four for me? <laughs> oh, I my God. Four. Four. I yes, Jose. Yes. Go. Go, Jose. <laughs> three. Oh, Josue is six. <laughs> or not. Yeah. No, you're number three, right? Okay. <laughs> I just, but, but Daniel, number for four. Me. Mm, uh, me, number four. Okay, yes. Number three, Jose? French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. M more romantic than fast. Do you agree with that, guys? <laughs> French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. I don't know. For I, I like I like fast food restaurants. But thank you, Jose. Very good. Okay, number four, thank Daniel. Okay. <laughs> and, and you was like, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> the okay. buffet, the mm -hmm. buffet at my least restaurant is more complete than Chinese. Very good, Dan, right? Very good. Okay, number five. <laughs> Whoever is in charge of number five, I don't remember. Amilcar, yes, Amilcar. <laughs> yes, teacher. Their service is faster. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, then. Aquí ya me perdí. The restaurants we went to last week. Very faster. Mm -hmm. Very good, all right. Oh, sorry, guys, one second. Sorry, but there is an insect flying in my head. On my head, sorry. So, number six, who's in charge of number six? I said a name, Josue? Josue, right? Or Jose? Jose already passed? No? Yes, you already passed. Josue then, all right? Emmanuel, 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 help me with the number six. Okay, Um. the ambience in Harry's kitchen is more appealing. Very good, <laughs> sorry. More appealing than, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sorry, guys. Okay. Very good, guys. You did an amazing job. So do you believe that it's easier now that you know the rules? Or is the same? Guys, easier? Easier? Easier, easier right? <laughs> easier, teacher. More easier? More, no, teacher. More easy? No, easier. All right? So, yeah. okay. Guys, Um. now let me go back. All right? Let me go back. And we will continue. All right, we will continue. Let's see. Here we have it. Uh, 
Okay, guys, sorry. I got a problem with an insect, but she's there, she's there. All right, so guys, now that we are ready working the page number 10, we will talk about fanboys, okay? We will talk about coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions. This is this is the topic that we have for today. But believe me, as you know, this is the way that we work, right? For me, it was very important that you manage, all right, that you learn very well the comparative adjectives. That's why we took longer. We took more time, okay? But then we have another topic. But before going to the fanboys, guys, do you have any questions about comparative adjectives? Questions? Not comparative no. adjectives. Vean el video que les mandé, please, guys. Vean el videito, please, please. Right? Y cualquier pregunta me la dejan saber. So, eh, let's talk about coordinating conjunctions, okay? Let's talk about the fanboys. So, what are fanboys? So, what are coordinating conjunctions, teacher? Okay, coordinating conjunctions, guys, are words, okay? Conjunctions, those conjunctions that join phrases, words, or sentences, okay? Ellos unen, join, unen palabras, oraciones, o frases, ¿sí? Y por eso se llama conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions. Y la llaman normalmente, ¿verdad? Las fanboys. ¿Por qué la llaman las fanboys? Porque... Eh, sus iniciales, ¿verdad? Con sus iniciales formamos la palabra esa. Por ejemplo, la F stands for for, eh, A stands for and, N stands for nor, V stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, and S stands for so. Lo ocupamos muchísimo, muchísimo, muchísimo en Spoken English, written English, all right? Más que todo cuando estamos aprendiendo a hacer los essays o los ensayos o cuando estamos aprendiendo cómo hacer párrafos, right? Utilizamos muchos estas fanboys, guys. Y, este, y también en el spoken English lo ocupamos demasiado, all right? So, uh, here we have the famous fanboys. Y lo sé, tenemos un ejemplo de cada una de ellas y ahorita vamos a ver qué es lo que significa cada una, right? For example, for, we use for, okay, eh, whenever we want to explain a reason for. Y les voy a compartir el manual ahorita porque ahí tenemos exactamente lo que, the meaning, all right? Vamos a ir coordinándonos el manual con las... PowerPoint presentation, okay. Okay, so here we have, we have four. In order to explain reasons of purposes, just like because. Si usted dice for, es como que diga because, okay? Porque usted explains reason or purposes, okay? Explains reason or purpose, uh, or purpose, all right? As the example that we have here, okay, sorry que me estoy intercambiando, hubiera puesto en pequeño, pero creo que it doesn't work like that, but okay. Look, like the example we have here, we listen eagerly, comma, for he brought news of her family, okay? We listen eagerly. Y está dando una razón de por qué ellos estaban escuchando de manera, um, oh my God, I just forgot this in Spanish. I just forgot it. What is the meaning of this in Spanish? Like, like whenever you are uh, motivated to listen to listen to some news, right? Your ear, like motivated. Que me ayuda, guys? I don't remember. Se me fue. Eh, exactamente la palabra en español. I'm so bad translating from, from English to Spanish. Ans mm, 
Yes, right? Yes, like anxious, like anxious. That's, a ver. Creo, no sé si está bien el spelling ahí. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, sí, ansioso. Como que lo tenía como de otra manera, pero no, fíjense. Oh, ya, entusiasta. Yo, yo esta palabra la relaciono mucho con entusiasta. All right, porque el, el, el ansioso la relaciona más con anxious. Por eso que no me acordaba, pero al final es lo mismo. Anxious o entusiasta. So we listen e um, eagerly, all right. For he brought news of our family. ¿Por qué él traía o trajo, perdón, noticias de nuestra familia? Entonces está dando una razón o un por qué. Por eso utilizamos el for. Y eso es lo que significa for, ¿ok? Eagerly, de hecho, eagerly, eagerly, ok? That's the pronunciation, eagerly. All right, entonces eso es lo que significa el for, cuando damos una razón, es como because, como usted, si usted quiere decir because, pero decimos for, ok? Let's go to the next one, the next one is and, ok? And is in order to add one thing to another, ok? Para agregar más a una oración, para agregar más, eh, una idea más, ok? Cuando queremos unir dos ideas, sorry, join two ideas. Let me go back. The example says, uh, she didn't speak to anyone. She didn't speak to anyone and nobody spoke to her, ¿ok? Entonces aquí estamos agregando otra idea, por eso es que estamos uniendo dos ideas y eso para eso lo ocupamos el en. Nosotros utilizamos mucho el end, right? So she didn't speak to anyone and no, nobody spoke to her. So, guys, estas fanboys no solamente las ocupamos para unir como dos oraciones, right? También si yo digo a uh, René en Carla, estamos, utiliz estamos uniendo dos palabras, right? Entonces también se unen palabras, frases o oraciones, ¿ok? Pero yo vengo, porque estamos ya, guys, en intermediate, ok, intermedio, ya la teacher nos va a enseñar oraciones, lo más difícil. <ríe> no, o sea, vamos a ir así, guys, porque la verdad, al final usted puede utilizar esos fanboys también para unir las frases y las palabras también, pero lo más, por lo que más se utiliza son con las oraciones enteras, ok, como lo estamos viendo acá. So, um, let's go to the next one which is the end, uh, nor, sorry, nor. Este es un poquito, como un poquito confuso, un poquito complicadito, pero media vez usted vea la estructura, guys, you understand, okay? So, nor presents an alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one. Es como que estamos teniendo dos ideas negativas y las queramos unir, ¿verdad? Es como que yo diga en español, guys, uh, ni este ni el otro, ¿verdad? Ni este teléfono ni el otro, me gusta. Un ejemplo. Entonces, eso es lo que significa el nor, ni, 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 <ríe> ni, right? Como el ni. Entonces, para darles una idea. Entonces, déjenme, les comparto esta. Entonces, unimos dos ideas negativas con el nor, ¿ok? That's the purpose. Unir dos ideas negativas con el nor. Example, example. I don't expect, aquí tenemos negativo, miren. I don't expect children to be rude. ¿Ok? Yo no espero que sean rudos, dice. Nor los niños, right? Nor ni espero que sean desobedientes, ¿sí? Ni. All right. Entonces, teacher, pero qué rara veo la siguiente oración. Yo les veo como una pregunta, pero no es pregunta, teacher. Ok, pongan atención acá. All right. Uh, concentrate. Pay attention. Pay attention. Porque miren, yo cuando estaba, me acuerdo que aprendí esta estructura. A mí me costaba esta en específico. 
Entonces, miren, esta es como la que vamos, más vamos a practicar ahorita, miren. Dicen, I don't expect children to be rude. Para utilizar el nor, vamos a tener que tener una negativa al principio. Teacher, pero miren, ¿de qué estructura estamos hablando? ¿De qué tiempo? De cualquier tiempo, guys. Estas fanboys las vamos a ocupar en cualquier tiempo, presente, pasado, futuro, cualquier tiempo, cualquier estructura. Lo importante, lo que estamos hablando ahorita es que estas <coughs> palabritas son estas con conjunctions, nos sirven para unir ideas, right? Entonces, so we have a negative, negative structure here. I don't expect children to be rude. Tenemos que tener una negativa aquí. Luego lo unimos con la con conjunction nor. Y luego la siguiente oración, guys, usted la tiene que transformar con el do. <coughs> Usted le tiene que poner el do al principio, ¿ok? Antes de la oración. Y es y acá y no va a ser negativa la siguiente oración porque ya usted la está haciendo negativa con el ni. Ya no la va a hacer nada. Usted ya no va a decir I don't expect to be this this disobeyed, ¿alright? Ya no le va a poner usted I don't. O sea, acá la idea es que el nor usted lo utilice para dos negativas. Pero en la siguiente usted no la va a poner porque el nor, la cláusula que usted tiene con el nor, ok, ya la está haciendo negativo. Por eso es que usted va a ocupar, a ocupar este auxiliar al principio antes de la oración. Si por ejemplo aquí dijera she, <coughs> le, voy a, le voy a hacer este ejemplo, miren, para que vean cómo va a cambiar ahora. She doesn't. Miren, guys, acá no se me vayan a decir, teacher, mire qué difícil eso. No, guys, estamos aprendiendo, ¿ok? Vamos poco a poco. Acuérdense que estamos en intermedio, right? Intermediate. <ríe> oh, my God, este teacher solamente poniendo excusa que estoy en intermediate, dice. Ok, miren. Doesn't, <coughs> she doesn't expect children to be rude. Ahora, le cambié el, la, la persona. Como le cambié la persona después del coma, voy a seguir con el nor. Estoy repitiendo lo mismo que dice arriba. Ahora, en vez de poner el do, ¿qué creen ustedes que le vamos a poner, guys? En vez del do. Colombia, yes, Sabrina, we miss you. Hi, how are you? How, fine. <laughs> okay, I'm so alive. great. Okay, so como ya ocupamos a tercera persona, entonces le vamos a poner el das. All right. Este das es como lo vamos a tomar ahorita, sí, porque vamos empezando como un adorno que, que le vamos a poner un auxiliar ahí, porque la estructura es así, ¿me entienden? Entonces vamos a poner das. Does, nor does, she expect, como estamos hablando de she, right? She expects to be disobeyed, all right? Disobeyed, that word is difficult for me to pronounce it. All right, she doesn't expect children to be rude, nor does she expect to be disobeyed, all right? With this, teacher. Yes. Sorry? With is. Yes. With is yes, because we, we're talking about present. O sea, esa estructura es, es en presente. Mm -hmm. Toda la estructura. All right? No, I mean, if, if, we, if we use does, we also use specs. De hecho, está en lo cierto, Sabrina. Eh, ahí se la tenemos que quitar. You're right. We eliminated porque ya tenemos el DAS. Ok, ya no se la ponemos. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing it up. All right, sí, le quitamos la S. Miren, Sabrina. Vengo, pero vengo todos los poderes, teacher, dice. Later, but I came back. Uh, I... Sorry. It was my puppy, all right? Thank you. Thank you very much, Sabrina. So, fíjense acá. Es un poquito complicated, pero con práctica lo vamos a hacer. We can do it, all right? Mañana vamos a seguir con práctica. Do not forget about it. Uh, don't worry about it. Y eso es muy importante acerca del nor. Acuérdense que significa ni, ¿ok? Ni. Y eh, algo que les quería decir súper rápido, guys. 
Para esta es coordinated conjunction, si estamos uniendo oraciones, pay attention, si estamos uniendo oraciones, guys, es muy importante que lleve la coma acá. Coma, porque estamos hablando, ya no estamos hablando, ¿se acuerdan que antes estábamos hablando de cláusula independiente, dependiente? Guys, aquí las dos son dependientes. Independientes, perdón. Las dos nos traen una idea completa. Complete idea. Si yo vengo y le digo, we listen eagerly. Usted entiende. Si yo vengo y le digo, he brought news for, of our family. También entendió, right? Son ideas completas. Y se están uniendo mediante las coordinating conjunctions. ¿Sí? Por eso es que es muy importante que la coma esté antes de la coordinating conjunction. Perdón, antes de la fanboy. ¿Ok? Si están uniendo frases o si están uniendo palabras, no vamos a ocupar la coma. Pero como ahorita nos estamos enfocando en unir oraciones, quedémonos con que le vamos a poner coma. ¿All right? Coma, coma, coma. Yes. All right. So, guys, uh, let's go to the next one, which is but. All right. Pero. In Spanish, all right? They rushed, they rushed to the hospital, comma, but they were too late. Pero, okay, y ahí ya va la otra idea. They rushed to the hospital, but they were too late. Okay? Otra cosita, guys. Si estamos eh, uniendo oraciones... ¿Qué es lo que espere, espero yo de usted? Es que en la siguiente oración usted también tenga una oración completa. ¿Cuándo tenemos una oración, oración completa? Whenever we have subject, verb, and complement. ¿Sí? Subject, verb, and complement. Si usted se fija acá, por ejemplo, she didn't speak to anyone. Tenemos subject, verb, complement. La otra oración, subject, verb, Complement. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. ¿Sí? Complete sentences. ¿Sí? Complete sentences. All right. Why, teacher? Because we are joining complete sentences. Complete ideas. ¿Ok? Estamos uniendo ideas completas. Uno de los usos de los fanboys. All right. All right, let's see. So, the next one. Or, cuando tenemos que elegir dos ideas. Y esta o esta, right? Or, como en Spanish, o. I will go shopping or I will go camping. Cualquiera de las dos actividades la voy a hacer, pero I will go shopping or I will go camping. Okay. Estamos uniendo dos ideas. Alguna de ellas voy a hacer, pero or significa para tener elecciones, right? Ele elecciones ahí de choices. All right. Next one. Yet. Yet. All right. Yet. Kelly was convi convicted criminal. Yet, many people admire him. All right. So, Yet, guys, es como el bad, ¿sí? Es como el pero, all right? Kelly was convicted criminal, but many people admire him, ¿ok? Es como el bad, es como decir bad, como el pero, ¿ok? So, este es easy, ¿ok, guys? Mm -hmm. Kelly was convinced convicted, sorry, was a convicted criminal, sorry, yet many people admire, admired him, all right? And the last one, guys, la última es so, all right? So, este lo ocupamos muchísimo, yo lo ocupo muchísimo, guys. Like, I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Entonces, it is like in Spanish, entonces me hice un sandwich, right? So, como algo de resultado, all right? I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Entonces, me hice un sandwich porque estaba muy hambriento, all right? So, fíjense, yo lo ocupo muchísimo. Hay una muletilla casi que tengo, casi que muletilla para mí. 
Ah, uh, entonces digo yo cada rato, entonces, entonces. All right, guys. Um, so those are the famous fanboys, all right? Fanboys for and nor bad or yet and so. Okay? Les voy preguntando y ustedes me van diciendo como que what is the meaning in Spanish, okay? Vamos a hablar un poquito de Spanish. I don't like to to bring it in here because we're in English classes, but Let's go ahead and put it a little Spanish sauce here, okay? Spanish sauce, all mm. right? So, vamos a ver, guys. Um, what is the meaning of for in Spanish? Because. Oh, teacher, le mostré que le puedo decir en, en English, me dijo. Very good, Dinora. <laughs> because, very good. Oh, me pueden dar un sinónimo, vaya, okay. And, guys. E. e, very good. What about nor? What is the meaning of nor? Ni. Ni, right? Ni. Mm -hmm. But? Pero. Pero. Or? Oh, <laughs> oh teacher. Oh. Yet, yet. Sin embargo. Ah, oh, very good. Oh, <laughs> Sin embargo, ajá, o puede ser como pero, all right, el mismo que el but. Very good. What about so? Así que. Entonces. Entonces, así que. Very good. Wow, guys. Now you are, you are awesome. Very good. Okay, here you have the fun boys, okay? So, guys, we use them. What is, uh, I mean, what do we use them for? ¿Para qué las utilizamos? What do we use them for? Uh -huh. ¿Para qué utilizamos las fanboys, guys? Para unir ideas completas. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. En este caso es lo que estamos estudiando ahorita, right? Pero también, ¿qué pueden unir? What is sentence? Las oraciones. Oraciones, sentence. Ajá, uh -huh, what else? We can do a paragraph. Ajá, uh -huh, we can do a paragraph. What else? ¿Qué más une? Ideas, Ideas, ajá. Uh -huh. Phrases, acuérdense, frases. No, la frase no es una oración completa, ¿verdad? Frase, palabras, all right? Pero ahorita, quedémonos con complete sentences, teacher. Guys, do we have to put a coma whenever we're using fanboys? Coma? Yes. Before yes. The Before the yes. The yes, miren, acá está la, 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 eh, la formula, sorry, formula. We use punctuate, the punctuation is sentence plus coma, plus fanboys, plus sentence, all right? This is the formula, all right? Sentence plus coma, plus fanboys, plus sentence. That's it, all right? So we have a practice, guys, before we go, because the time is almost over, almost over, okay? Uh, we have a practice, really quick practice here. Uh, let me get a second. Let me go to the practice. <clears throat> Here we have, okay, this, this, will, this will be the last activity that we will do. And tomorrow, guys, we will continue practicing either the fanboys and also we will practice in the comparative aptitudes. Mañana, okay? Mañana vamos a seguir con esta práctica. Do not worry. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, let me share the screen. Ven la pantalla, guys? Yes. Perfect. Let's practice, yes. all of you guys. Let's practice, okay? I will mention your name, all right? Let's see, Jaime will be the number one. <laughs> Jaime, you start. Okay. Okay, Could you please teacher. read it and choose the best option? <laughs> Maybe close the door. Ayúdame, Jaime. I know he, um, he, he doesn't need, but okay. Four. <laughs> four. Judy. Uh, uy, uh, Jaime, lea la restrain. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, four. close the door for walk, walk, walk outside. For walk out, outside. All right, let's see, let's see. I don't know. Jaime. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and walk 
outside, all right? Don't worry, okay. I mean, we're learning, okay? So, miren acá, dicen, Judy closed the door and walked outside, all right? Son dos, son dos, um, two actions que hizo, all right? Teacher, pero yo no veo el sujeto en la segunda oración. Acuérdense que lo utilizamos para frases también, all right? Y de hecho, después le voy a explicar este tipo de estructura. Es válido también omitir el Judy de nuevo por no repetirlo. Judy closed the door and walked outside. Para no repetir Judy y Judy de nuevo, lo omitimos en la segunda. ¿Ok? Pero es and. Next. Uh, José. José, let's do it, José. Help me, help me, help us. Ayúdenos, guys, también, para terminar rapidito. No, I didn't choose that one. Es porque estoy cliqueando acá. So, Jay turned the music up uh, so bad for and it was time to party. Turn... Four. Yes. Okay. Let's see what four. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> it was such a bad. So. <laughs> Don't worry. It's fine. We will. We will I, I, feel, I feel good now. <laughs> I, I know. I feel good now. Thank you. <laughs> Next one, ok. Vaya, vamos a hacerlo todos, todos. All together, ok. Participe. Dave studied all day. Bad still didn't do well on the test. Dave studied all day. And no, so. Bad? What? Bad. 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 Let's see. Bad. Yes. We did it. All right. Previously, they were confused, right? <laughs> okay, next one. James was tired for and yet so he didn't want to go to bed. D. Yet. Yet. No. For. Oh, my God. D. Let me D. Bed. James was tired. He didn't want to yes. go to bed. D. So. D, letter so. D. So. Letter D, ah, letter D. Yeah. Oh my God, sorry. So. Letter so. D, so, right? Yes. Okay, let's, let's keep this one. Why? Is it? It's confusing. It's confused, I know. Hasta yo me confundí. Yes, James was tired. Yet he didn't want to go to bed. All right. Ajá. Fíjense que hasta yo, hasta yo me confundí. Porque dice que él estaba cansado, ¿verdad? Y aún así no quería ir a la cama. All right. Uh -huh. Next one. <laughs> All right. The next one. The poor dog was cold. Yes, cold and Hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, hungry. And right. <laughs> oh my God, time is over. And very good, guys. So we will leave it like that because it's time to go to bed. You're tired, so go to bed. <laughs> All right. So guys, thank you very much for uh, for joining the class. I hope that you can learn that you have learned the comparative adjectives and the conjunctions. We will continue tomorrow with the practice. Okay, I will go through the attendance list. Please stay present. And I hope you have an amazing night, okay? Ahora se va a quedar conmigo, guys. Vamos a ver. In, according to the attendance list, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer algo. Christian, eh, can you stay with me today? Hello. Okay, yes, no, maybe teacher. Yes. No. Okay, okay. Thank you. Bye, guys. Voy a pasar la lista. Nos vemos mañana. Descanse mucho. Bendiciones. All right. Don't miss the class tomorrow. And um, have an amazing night. Okay. No se desloguee hasta que mencione su nombre y diga presente. All right. Okay. So, let me go through the attendance list. Uh, Nelson Vladimir Flores Martinez. 
José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Bye bye, José Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present, teacher. Thank you, bye bye, Marcos. Sabrina bye, dice teacher. Good night. Good night. Present, good night. Good night, Sabrina. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present, teacher. Bye-bye, Osvin, teacher. Bye. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. María Dinora Janes de Hernández. Present, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Marcos Camil Garmancía Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Bye, Marcos, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present teacher. Bye. Bye, Luis Taker. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Bye bye. Bye, Julio. Julio César Merino González. Present teacher. See Bye, Julio tomorrow. César. See you tomorrow. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Jessica El Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Bye, Jessica. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Good night. Bye. Good night. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present, Present teacher. teacher. Bye, Mabel. Take care. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present, teacher. Bye, Ezequiel. Take care. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye. bye bye, take care, Daniel. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present, no. Bye, Estefanía. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Thank you, Cristian. Luis Ernesto Gómez. Oh I don't know what's going on with Luis. Hello, Cristian. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Great, you feel better after that trip. <laughs> so yeah. tell me, how was your trip? Well, it, it, it was very beautiful. Really? Oh, I could imagine. Yes. It's very, the, Spain is very, very nice. Really? Oh my God. I hope I can go one day. Bye. And Bye. how long were you Bye. there? Excuse me? How long were you there in Spain? I was uh, 70 days. 17? Wow. That's yes. great. So tell me, you was, you was about to tell me something with bad. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, is is it's very nice Spain, mm -hmm. but the change of the time, uh, the hours, mm -hmm. is very difficult because, for example, the uh, how do you say anochecer? Sorry, Christian. It is whenever it's down, like whenever it's. Yes, whenever it's down, when you have, um, no, this is uh, like atardecer, right? Mm -hmm. It might be nightfall, nightfall, the nightfall, uh-huh, nightfall. The nightfall is um, nine or 10 p.m. Nine or 10 p.m. Yes. Okay, what about the um the sorry, the that was the, what I wanted to say, the sunset. What about the sunset? What time the is sunset, it? The sunset is 
7 a.m. 7? No, I mean the sun, the sunset is the one that oh, is... Oh, yeah, yeah. The sunset, uh -huh. the sunset okay. is, the sunset is very, very fast because, for example... Uh, but what time? At what time? Yeah, it is, is different for the days. Is different for all days? Yes, but it is, it is very fast. For, for example, uh, 9.30 is sunset, 10 is, is night. Only really? three hours for the sunset, yes. Wow, like if you, like you're not enjoying, right? You're not enjoying the sunset and the nightfall. Sorry, teacher. Hi, yes. Kenny. Me sacó la sesión, se, aquí vino una tormenta y se me fue el inter. Ah, ya no dije no, present. Ah, pero muchas gracias por regresar. Ahorita lo pongo, Kenny. Muchísimas gracias hoy. Sorry, have a good no, night. Don't worry. Have a good night. Take care. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, Christian, really? Wow, like you, you cannot yeah. enjoy the sunset then, there. Yes, but he, in for for the class, mm -hmm. it was difficult because I oh, we sleep two or three in a room. I oh I I I can uh, speak because mm -hmm. the other person I sleep. Yes. Wow. It was uncomfortable, right? Yes. For for example, in in Madrid, I um, wake up for four a.m. for enjoy the class. Mm -hmm. But when I visit, I visit at Tenerife. Mm -hmm. I wake up three a.m. for enjoy the class. Wow. So that it's different hours, right? depending on the city where you were. Yes. Okay. But nice to know that you enjoy it. I'm sorry to know that you had to wake up uh, early because of the class, because at the end you couldn't <laughs> enjoy a lot, right? I understand that. But thank you for your effort, Chris. And now I understand why you was like that, right? <laughs> I wish very. <laughs> but thank you very much, Christian. And thank you for sharing with me. Uh, okay. Besides that, I would like to ask you if, you, I mean, what comments, what feedback do you have or do you happen to have about previous course? What do you expect for this for this new course, which is intermediate, right? We are in intermediate right now. And if there is anything that I can help you with, well, I will be more than glad to help you. And if you have comments or any questions about today's topics all right because uh well basically there were two for you right which is comparative adjectives and fanboys yeah. uh, let me know all right let me know i will be here so christian let me know what we can do for you okay but for this moment is it's very nice the topic is the the comparative and superlative for me is easy because oh, okay. I I know the topic. I I don't know the word. I am memorized the the word, uh, the, the comparative and superlative. Uh, I I need the rule. Uh, today I only have difficult for no. Uh huh. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's it's a little bit complicated, and tomorrow we'll have more practice about nor, because yes, right. We need to have this auxiliary at the beginning. I mean, at the beginning of the second sentence, you just put the auxiliary, and then you continue with a positive sentence, even though you are meaning negative in a negative way, right? Negative uh, thought or negative idea. So that is the only thing. Other than that, um, whenever you practice, you will understand it better. But sometimes whenever you stop practicing, believe me, you forget. That that have, I have happened to me before. That I, I don't practice data structuring specifically. And then I am like, 
doubting. Like I am guessing, mm, should I put this or no? I don't remember. I need to check. So once you check, oh, you for you 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 got it again. You understand it again. So it is because of this the lack of practice. But the more that you practice, you will understand it. Believe, me. Christian. But other than that, um, do you happen to have any anything else that I can do for you, Christian, in this course? So we can have we can make this learning meaningful, anything that I can do so you can continue uh, learning this um, foreign language. Yeah, but for the moment, everything is OK. Everything good. All right, yeah. perfect, Christian. In case you have any other question, let me know in WhatsApp. You know that I am there. You can count on me. And uh, we hope that you can continue participating in class the way that you normally do, Christian, because that helps us a lot. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for staying today and for your support and for your um effort okay i hope you have an amazing night if you don't have any question or if you have any questions in the future let me know okay okay teacher okay christian it was nice to see you again okay take care have a great night bye-bye bye-bye teacher